check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Package in the mail from Western Power Steering, and it is the steering rack that I have been waiting for now for well, it's four months since I took the old one out of the car. I first bought one from the States, which I never got, and I bought another one from the States and sent it to England for refurbish. It took a whole month or over a month just to get it to England because of COVID. So this has been an extremely long process, but when looking at it now, it's definitely been worth it. It looks brand new. So they change gaskets there, clean the whole thing. The joints feels perfect. So basically it looks like a brand new steering rack, pretty much, which would have cost me 37,000 kroners, not including the work, which is 3,500 pounds or something. And I paid 315 pounds for this and that's including the 90 pound shipping so that is very very good and I can finally get the Porsche back on its wheels except of course I'm still waiting for the springs which I decided to change out now since I already had the steering rack out so then I can make the car properly usable again. Alright, I'll see you later when I put it in. Hello again! I'm gonna finally start to do some work on the steering rack since it's uh, come back here it's all ready to be mounted on the car so the first thing to do is make sure it's centered easiest way to do that is to so count so pay attention to this thing one, two, three. So the three rotation from lock to lock. So then we know that, oh, let's just center it straight away actually. So, so then we know to center it, you need one and a half. So one and half. Then the steering rack is centered and ready to be put back in place. Okay, I'm ready to cut the lines on the car now. I cut it before right by the plug so you can see if I put it on top place I need to cut it now is here so this one, it's gonna add a little bit should be plenty of space so I 
thought I can just show you quickly how you just cut the lines with the line cutter. Sound right, boy. Twist it until it gets easier to twist, then you tighten more, twist it until it gets easier, tighten more, then eventually it will just fall off. Then you just take a knife on the inside here to scrape off the edge, and also you can see some plastic pieces left, so you can just scrape over that. Then the lines are ready to be used again. So everything is all ready to be put back on the car ready to start installing the steering rack and uh, also the new plugs for for the or the lines for the fluids i've cut the lines on the car already and I've also cut the plugs of the used steering line that I bought. Uh, I also changed the gaskets. So now the next thing will be to just screw open this. All right, I'll explain how it works. There's a small little press on thing here. When you compress it, it will get smaller and stay onto the line. So you just press the tube until it hits the bottom. And then you screw this uh, hard. So the thing inner ring compresses and that will, then it will stick on. So I will do that with the lines on the car first on this end. Then I'll put the steering rack in and then I will attach these ends because it's a really tight fit and hopefully doing it that way I should be able to uh, make everything fit back together. It's four degrees in the garage now so it's not really warm but I have a little oven going here. It's pretty hard to see here. I won't be able to film when I'm working on it but you can see one line hanging down there covered up so it won't leak so i will just attach the bolts uh, onto the ends there and then for or slide the steering rack into this opening here so it's gonna be a pretty tight fit but uh I got it out, so hopefully I should be able to get it back in too. All right. It's uh, maybe the final day of uh, fixing the, the steering gear. Uh, I'm just I'm gonna try and show you here how far I've come. Okay, the shaft is attached. That was a huge pain. Both the lines are attached and tightened with 20 newt meters. And here you can kind of see some of the bolts that uh, that are connecting the new plugs or used plugs with the original lines which made it possible to keep the original lines. Uh, 
it's a really tight fit in here but now everything is connected I'm not touching anything connected this plug with the 20 newton meters that one was 35 i think so now every thing is with the lines is tight here we can see the some old plugs better so now i'm just filling up the the reservoir with hydraulic oil just bought it from porsche it's a little bit too much in it right now so i'm airing it out according to the porsche service manual which is uh, just put in a little bit at a time start the engine for a few seconds and then uh, turn it off again So I've actually started the engine once already and it was pretty freaky because it hasn't been started in a very long time. So let's try again for... So now you can see if the hydraulics have... Yeah, it looks like it's gone down a little bit. Okay, I'll let you know when I'm uh, completed the whole thing. Just need to make sure the level is correct. Okay, I've started three times now. And it's at the right level for cold. I tried to like look down to see when the right amount was, but do not do that. It filled up a lot quicker than I thought and be aware that you don't spill this uh, fluid on a, or any kind of rubber or hoses because it will deteriorate super quickly so have enough paper and stuff to wipe up uh, all that if you spill anything i have not spilled a single drop since i was super careful but uh, everything seems to be working really really well I'll start it one more time. Move the steering wheel a little bit. There's no leaks uh, here. smoke coming out it's first time it started in four or five months but uh, everything else is looking really really good then everything is topped off there's no leaks anywhere and the car is finally completed and ready to be used again project steering rack finally completed Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.